Over the years, wrestling fans have had to mourn and made tribute to many tragic and surprising deaths in WWE, such as Sarah Lee and Brody Lee. Most of their deaths are quite shocking. Eddie was in the prime of his life, 38 years old, in the prime of his career. Today, we are going to be looking out the WWE wrestlers that tragically died years back. Viva la Rasta! Sarah Lee. Sarah died at the age of 30 in October 2022. A Texas native who shared three kids with her husband publicly complained of a sinus infection before passing, but no cause of death was publicly released. Brody Lee. Brody's wife, Amanda Huber, shocked fans when she confirmed the death of Brody Lee two years prior. And I'll never forget, I, uh, I knew it was coming. I knew, I knew the end was there. She wrote in December 2020 about how broken her heart was. She expressed how amazing he was as her husband, best friend, and also the greatest father you could ever meet. John Huber's son, the late Luke Harper's young boy who is here at ringside tonight. Randy Savage, the Ohio native who had six world championship reigns, died at age 58 after suffering a heart attack while driving his Jeep Wrangler in the Tampa Bay area in May 2011. James Brian Helwig. Helwig, also known as the Ultimate Warrior, died in April 2014, only a few days after being honored with the WWE Hall of Fame induction. He died of cardiovascular disease. At an Arizona hotel, he passed out while walking to his car with his family. He was 54. Dusty Rhodes. Rhodes, who had kidney disease, passed away in June 2015 at the age of 69. Before his passing, the former wrestler had a number of health issues. One such issue was stomach cancer. He did drop weight before his death, but regrettably was still taken too soon. He was last listed as weighing 275 pounds. Rhodes experienced a number of issues between Wednesday night and Thursday morning, which ultimately resulted in the news of his passing. Roddy Piper. The Canadian-born wrestler, who was employed by WWE from 1984 to 2000, passed away at age 61 from a cardiac arrest brought on by hypertension, pulmonary embolism in one of his lungs. The U.S. confirmed the news in July 2015. According to the death certificate, he was discovered dead on July 31st inside his Hollywood, California home. China in April 2016, China was found dead in her home at age 46. A report of her autopsy was released in December 2016, which determined that she died on April 17th of an overdose of alcohol, combined with the anxiety drugs diazepam and nordazepam, painkillers oxycodone and oxymorphone, and sleeping aid temazepam. We wouldn't be where we're at or who we are without the contributions of the ninth wonder of the world, China. Bruno Sammartino. The WWE legend who had been battling health issues died at the age of 82 in April 2018, Gene Okerlund. The wrestling interviewer died unexpectedly in January 2019, just weeks after turning 76. Okerlund's son claimed that his father had undergone three organ transplants and had fallen the day before he passed away. Ashley Massaro. After being discovered unconscious at her home in May 2019, Massaro passed away at the age of 39. The cause of her death was not made public. Rocky Johnson Rocky Johnson, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's father, died in January 2020 at the age of 75. The Canadian native, who was the first black champion in WWE history, died of a pulmonary embolism. He had a large blood clot that spontaneously broke loose, traveled up his body, and immediately reached his lung where it clotted it. He instantly passed away from a severe heart attack. Shad Gaspard Gaspard was found dead in May 2020 at the age of 39 after becoming entangled in a powerful rip current. Lifeguards from the Los Angeles County Rescue Authority verified that the actor was recovered on the shoreline of Venice Beach. Authorities said a lifeguard was trying to save both, but Shad told them, quote, save my son. Scott Hall. Hall, who was known as Razor Ramon during his tenure at WWE, was hospitalized in March 2022 after falling and breaking his hip. The athlete was ultimately taken off of life support that same month following blood clot complications. He was 63. Bad times don't last, 
but bad guys do. Andre the Giant, the biggest man of his sport. Andre the Giant towered over his opponents while intimidating him with his immense size. At six foot 11 and weighing in at over 500 pounds, he was quite a fixture in the ring. Andre died in early 1993 after heart failure and was inducted into the WWF Hall of Fame the next year. Did Andre's passing affect you more than other passings that you've experienced? More than one. More than other passings that you've oh, experienced? Oh, God. He was special. Chris Benoit. Benoit was one of the best technical wrestlers to ever step foot in the WCW and WWE. Benoit was a well-known figure in the WWE, but over the course of three days in June 2007, everything changed when he took the regrettable choice to murder his wife Nancy and his seven-year-old son Daniel before committing suicide by hanging at his home. Therefore, other than my comments, there will be no mention of Mr. Benoit's name tonight. Owen Hart. Until disaster hit him at the Over the Edge pay-per-view in May 1999, Owen Hart, a member of the illustrious Hart family, was a rising star. Rather of being lowered down the ring like former WCW wrestler Sting, Hart, who was only 34 years old, died tragically after falling 78 feet. Uh, the Blue Blazer, as we know, is Owen Hart was going to make a very spectacular superhero-like entrance from the rafters, and something went terribly wrong here. His death was felt by many in the wrestling community, as his brother Brett didn't return to the wrestling business until years after Owen's death. He is still remembered today as one of the best wrestlers to ever come from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and his legend lives on in the hearts of many around the world. Eddie Guerrero Eddie Guerrero was arguably the best and most famous Mexican professional wrestler of all time. Guerrero is widely considered one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time and was easily one of the world's favorites as well. When he died on November 13th, 2005, it sent shockwaves through the wrestling world. He's in my arms and he's, he's not there anymore. As the 23-time title holder left behind a legacy and so many great wrestling memories in just 38 years on Earth, Kurt Hennig. Hennig, known as Mr. Perfect, dazzled spectators with his handsome appearance and supremacy in the ring. During his 23-year career as a wrestler, he won a number of world championships and established himself as one of the sport's greatest characters. Yokozuna one of the heaviest wrestlers ever, Yokozuna stood his ground as one of the best Samoan-born wrestlers of all time. Yokozuna, aka Rodney Anoa'i, was a two-time WWF champion during his 16-year wrestling career. He died in 2000 from excessive fluid in his lungs, shortly after he retired from the sport. Who among these legends do you think had the most painful death? Be sure to watch the wrestlers attacked by fans, and we will see you in the next video.